and sometimes we can use their skills to our advantage. This is a leech. For thousands of years, they were used to treat everything from skin diseases to fevers. Those cures almost certainly did more harm than good. But in the right hands, the leech can be a useful surgical assistant. Ian Whitaker is a reconstructive surgeon who is pioneering the modern use of leeches. I normally use them on um, extremities, uh, for example, a finger, okay. or in rare instances, a nose or an ear. You're what, reattaching the end of a finger or something like that? Is that yes, right? that's right. It is um, technically possible with microsurgery to attach the artery, mm -hmm. so you've got blood flowing in, but the blood flowing out via the veins is much more difficult. Right. Something starts to swell up, does it? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. That's the basis of it. And the leeches are quite good at sort of controlling the flow, are they? Yeah, it's almost as if they're custom made. <laughs> um, you know, they remove a you know a fairly predictable amount of blood. Um, it's self-contained, and they promote bleeding after they're removed as well. It's the ability to remove blood that makes the leech so useful in surgery. But how much blood can a leech consume? Well, there's one way to find out. First, we have to see how much the hungry leech weighs. About 0.4. That's perfect. OK. Ooh. So should we put it on there? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, yeah. They only need to feed once a year. It takes about three months to digest their blood meal. I'm I'm actually, I can feel it, yeah. I yeah. can definitely feel something going on there. Perhaps at the moment, it's attached uh, by its head end, where, where the jaws and teeth mm -hmm. will have made a hole. Here, you can see how the leech's triple-jawed mouth is able to cut through a membrane. That's what it's doing to my skin. Once it's made a hole, it can start feeding on my blood. It sucks by contracting its muscles in a rhythmic movement called peristalsis. Its digestive tract, visible here in red, can expand to hold huge quantities of blood. And its saliva contains proteins that help the blood keep flowing. And it will be injecting some fairly ingenious things. Um, Hirudin is probably the most important, mm -hmm. which will prevent it clotting okay. so it can feed more efficiently. Um, it's the most potent anticoagulant known to man. Yeah. I mean, how long will I go on bleeding for? Um, I think the average is about 12 hours. Um, some instances it can go up to 48 and 72 in extreme circumstances. Oh, God, it's moved. It's, it's come off. off. Ah, there you go. Oh, well, shall we see how heavy it is? Hey, blimey, so it's, it's now seven or eight times heavier. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> By helping blood to flow freely into newly reattached tissues, the leech can save parts of the body that would otherwise die.